I'm Kevin O'Hara for alcoholmastery.com and today I wanted to ask the question um, is alcohol free beer healthy right now I've done a good bit of search around on this and uh, to be honest I couldn't find a lot of information about it um, on whether the actual end product was healthy whether it wasn't healthy or not right um, I found some good articles on uh, that it's good for you if you want to go to sleep because of the hops um, in the alcohol-free beer um, that there's some beneficial effects in other areas of your life if you um, for instance go to the gym and you want something that's going to help you to recover very quickly then um, alcohol-free beer can can help you on that the process itself somebody was telling me um, I heard somebody saying once that alcohol beer was a lot more unhealthy for you than regular beer because of the process that it went through so I looked into that and I thought well you know like let's see what what the process is and from what I can gather it's bullshit you know the the process of actually creating alcohol free beer is the alcohol free beer goes through all the same stages as um, normal alcoholic beer it even goes through the fermentation process so what you've got is the end result is the beer with the alcohol in it and then they take the alcohol out of the beer right so so there's three different processes that the brewers can put the alcohol through to take all the alcohol out of it um, one of them is heating another one is uh, vacuum distilling and the third one is what's called reverse osmosis now heating is the simplest one and the one that a lot of them use right and uh, the boiling point of alcohol is a lot lower than the boiling point of uh, water so the boiling point of uh, alcohol is 78 degrees celsius uh, 173 fahrenheit at sea level right um, so they can boil they don't really boil the, the liquid but they boil the alcohol and the alcohol boils off but because they're heating up the process again you know the the whole beer has gone through um has already gone through a heating up process in the early stages and now that they're this is a finished product and it shouldn't be heated they're heating it up again in order to get rid of the alcohol right the vacuum distilling uh method of doing this is another way they can heat up the thing but because it's in a vacuum it the boiling point is a lot lower right it's uh, 48 percent i think uh 48 celsius 120 fahrenheit right which means that obviously it's not being heated up as much and reverse osmosis is um is basically filtering so what they do is they filter out uh, the water and the alcohol i think through um, um small uh, sieves or filters that only the water and the alcohol can pass through right so then they're left with this gumpy liquid right and they take the water and the alcohol then they heat that up the alcohol evaporates and then they put that finished uh, water and back into the liquid again right so you know i'm not explaining this very well but there's three processes and, and it basically is all about heating you know it's heating up the stuff um one of the things i'd be careful about if you're going to drink non-alcoholic beers is just to to look at the label because some of them are 0.5 percent alcohol right so you know in an ideal world you don't want that right now I, i'm all about this whole channel is about not about the alcohol going into your system right because you already have certain amounts of alcohol in your system already for the, through the food that you eat and the digestion post processes and all that kind of stuff so having a small amount of alcohol is not going to do you any harm right if you drink uh, cough medicine for your cough or you know there's a lot of drugs uh, out there syrups and medicines and all that kind of stuff that are going to have alcohol in them so that's not the point right if you're there and you're desperate to get drunk and you're trying to get drunk and alcohol for your beers you're not going to do it right and some people will say well because there's alcohol in it that it's going to drive you back to the alcohol and you know for me um i have an alcohol free beer at a celebration um you know like if i'm going to a wedding i'm going to have an alcohol free beer right for the toast or whatever it is right um i might have the odd one if i'm out with family and i'm having a dinner the most i'll have is two in an evening because it's just you know the purpose is gone for me the the purpose now in my new life is to um is to have something there to go yeah cheers and to be with everyone else right and you know to be honest in in most bars and restaurants throughout the world 
If you're not a drinker, your choice is limited. Outside of the bar, your choice is a lot broader. But inside of a bar, inside of a restaurant, your choices are generally very low, you know. I'm going to start doing some videos on uh, mocktails and different types of drinks that you can have. Uh, I don't know if anyone would be interested in that, but I'll, I'll um, let me know in the comment section whether you want me to do that. And I think it's just, you know, to broaden your horizons and just to let you know that there is a lot more out there than just the normal... Uh, alcohol drinks that you get in the bar you know so that's the only reason i do that uh you know and it's a sort of i've got an acquired taste for the malt and the hops and stuff i mean alcohol hasn't really got a taste the main thing for me is that i'm out of that loop now of getting drunk i don't feel the effects of drinking an alcohol free beer the, the alcohol beer that i always drink is zero zero right so you know there's there is no alcohol in it you know and there probably is a trace amount of alcohol they can't get everything out of it but like i say you know you have to be realistic with these types of things, you know. At the same time, you know, do I recommend it for somebody who's trying to quit drinking? I don't, right? Because it's too close to the old thing, you know. I mean, it's close in one way and it's not close in another way. If you're just coming off beer and you're drinking alcohol-free beer, you're going to notice a difference, right? You're going to see that there's, there's something missing there. And it's that something missing which might drive you to go back to the old... Um, full alcohol beers in my opinion right when i first had an alcohol free beer it was a, a, a year after maybe six months a year i can't really remember but it was a long time after i'd stopped and i hadn't tasted beer in a long time so this beer didn't taste any different to me it just tasted like beer you know it was um without the alcohol without the threat of it damaging me without the threat of me getting up in the morning with a hangover but without it, without it interfering with my life right but uh, I'm not sure how I would have reacted if I'd have started drinking alcohol-free beer straight away because the whole thing is to get you out of this um, lifestyle, right? To get you away from the the the, the life that is um, involves alcohol, right? So going to pubs, going to bars, uh, going to um, restaurants where you regularly drink, and it's to extract the alcohol from the habit, right? Extract the habit of alcohol from your life, right? Extract the routine. And you can't do that if you're continuing to drink alcohol-free beers, right? In my opinion, as I say, right, there's probably been people who have successfully done this, but I wouldn't recommend it, you know, for at least uh, a few months anyway. Until you've escaped from that routine, I'd always try and uh, stay away from that kind of stuff, you know. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there for now. Um, is alcohol-free beer healthy? Uh, I think it's healthier than the alcohol version simply because they've taken the fucking toxins out of it right so you know ergo it's got to be healthier than um than the alcohol version and from what i can see the processes of removing the alcohol don't really do anything to um poison the you know the the finished product right i think the finished product is healthy because they've taken the alcohol out of it right so look that's it for today um, until next time, I'm Kevin O'Hara for alcoholmastery.com. Stay safe, keep the alcohol out of your mouth, and onwards and upwards. Take care, good luck.